Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Abraham Lincoln High School for another matchup of boys soccer today. It is Abraham Lincoln High School's rail splitters taking on the new Utrecht Utes. Utes coming in with a record of, I think it's two and three, but they've already played the rail splitters once this season. It was a 4-3 victory for new Utrecht. Rail Split is going to look to get a little bit of payback today, if they can. Rail Splitters in blue, New Utrecht in white. We are underway here in Coney Island. New Utrecht on the ball first, playing it back through their defense. Working it up through midfield there is Ronin Israelov. Cross is a little too heavy and now Lincoln takes over. Good little bit of passing there, making his way forward is Aiden Oldfield. That's number four on the rail splitters. And we've got our first corner. Rail splitters not able to capitalize on the corner. And then whistle blows, it'll be a free kick. Not sure which direction it's going yet. It's a free kick for the rail splitters. Goes right into the wall. Utrecht back in possession. Mateo Lochi on the ball now. Dispossessed. Fast paced game so far. Lochi again. And that'll roll out for a throw. This time it's a rail splitter throw. Getting into position to throw is uh, Itamar Ramirez on a fray. That one touched out by Ivan Rosas. Ball crossed in, it's cleared away for the rail splitters, but not with any possession yet. Bouncing back and forth. Hard ball sent off for Aiden Oldfield to go chase, but he won't be able to get there in time. It's a Lincoln throw.
Nice bit of defending there from New Utrecht, blocking off the ball so that the keeper could get a clean hit at it. Ivan Rosas will kick that one out again. Throw in coming from Jonathan Enriquez. Makes it to the Lincoln back line. They boot it all the way forward. Takes an unlucky bounce off the Lincoln forward. And a whistle blows as Aiden Oldfield gets held up a little bit. The Utrecht doing what they have to do to stop him. He's got a lot of speed over there on that left side. Oldfield takes the kick himself, and it's a couple of yards over the bar. Minzan Uzbekov was in position to take the kick. Aiden Oldfield, the diversion. Comes another Lincoln throw. Ramirez and Offre to take the throw again for Lincoln. Again, back on the ball. Whistle blown there after Ronin Israelov to add a little bit of physical play. Good free kick, makes it all the way to the back line. Doesn't fall to any rail splitter's feet, though. Oh! Yeah, it's a kick that just went directly into the face of Lincoln's number 14, Nikita Martinchuk. Knocked his glasses off. The kick came from the foot of uh, Kleber Aguilar. Yeah, referee still checking on Nikita to make sure he's okay, so play does not resume just yet. They don't look like sports goggles from where I'm standing, so he's probably got to go and get checked out, make sure that the glasses are fitting right, make sure that nothing is wrong after the hard hit. Concussion protocols say he's got to go at least get looked at by the coach after taking a hit to the head like that. Cross comes in, played back. Almost shot in from the end of the 18, and there's a shot that goes over the bar. Shot came in off the foot of number 10. That's Clever Aguilar again. 
for him, uh, number six, Kevin Lago Suazo had it at the top of the 18. He just couldn't get a touch on it around the Lincoln defense. Lincoln will definitely want to try to reduce the amount of times that New Utrecht gets a look like that. Great header, brings it down, shot taken, saved easily by Lincoln's goalkeeper, Carl Handy Abraham. Dispossessed by Ivan Rosas. Another opportunity for New Utrecht. It's out for a goal kick. Speed on the right side there being provided by New Utrecht's number 21. And I don't see the number 21 on the right. No, there he is, Jonathan Enriquez. Goal kick taken. Lincoln trying to work it up through their midfield. And the last pass that might have been able to release Aiden Oldfield got disconnected. Throw-in goes right up through the middle all the way outside. The Utrecht throw now. Opportunity here for New Utrecht. They're not able to get the cross off, but it does look like they've earned themselves a corner. An in swinger headed out by the defense. Lincoln trying to charge the other way. They don't have the numbers advantage, but they did have some momentum. But ultimately, it's safely in the hands of the keeper. Rosas trying to reach Oldfield. Just a little too much on that one. Shot from Oldfield, handled by the keeper.
another free kick coming now for the rail splitters from about 26 yards out from the net. Now that one gets launched out. Goal kick to the Utes. Opportunity again for New Utrecht. And it'll be saved out for a corner. Rail splitters number 19, Shurin uh, Dermashev. Blocks out what I think was a cross from New Utrecht's number seven, Yaroslav Frolov. Setting up for New Utrecht, number 10 makes the kick in. It's off a couple of heads, but ultimately it's going to go all the way out for a throw on the other side. New Utrecht's number 10 is Clever Aguilar. Lincoln going to get called for a pull there. Giving New Utrecht a free kick. They launch it over. And the whistle blew. Carl Handy Abraham grabbed it and threw it down. Free kick to Lincoln. There it goes. New Utrecht in possession again. Ivan Rosas trying to get it. Kicked back to the Utrecht's back line. Push forward again. Rail splitter is able to keep pushing the ball forward, but not get it to any controlled foot when it gets up front.
Now a Lincoln throw. Bad touch there, kind of breaks up the play, but Lincoln still on the ball. And referee calls it a goal kick. Minzan Uzbekov doing the work for the rail splitters. He's wearing the number seven out there on the right side of your screen. Goal kick played out to New Utrecht's right. Off to the races. And it'll be off for a goal kick. This time number 19, Ronan Israelov doing the work. It's not a goal kick, it's out for a corner. Ronan Israelov making sure that it stayed a new Utrecht play. Nice corner kick headed out by the Lincoln defense. Well handled. Well taken also. Another potential opportunity for the rail splitters, but again, they can't get a controlled touch once they start getting into their offensive end. New Utrecht's defense has been good at disrupting. Lincoln always seems to be reaching for it. And it's out for another throw. Cleared away by the new Utrecht defense. Utrecht still on the ball. And the rail splitters just can't quite control it and bring it down. It's gonna be out for a new Utrecht throw. Shot way high. That is all the way over the fence, bouncing off into West Avenue. But if anybody from the NFL is watching, that student should graduate within the next four years. You might want to keep him in mind as a field goal kicker. Goal kick coming.
And there's one that rolls past, and it's in. Do you trick on the board first? believe I didn't see actually who got the last touch but following it into the net was number seven Yaroslav Frolov We're back underway, rail splitters on the ball now. Now playing from behind. Kick to New Utrecht. Some rough play out there between both sides. Very physical game today. Nice bit of passing there from the rail splitters. But nobody warning Oldfield that he had somebody right behind him. He had no room for the turn. the field now for the rail splitters getting the ball for the throwing is number 11 Peterson LaRose Peterson LaRose was one of the standout players in Lincoln's game last Saturday in the rain That one's going to go out for a goal kick.
Another shot taken. This time not cleanly handled the header. And back in position is New Utrecht's goalkeeper. Good job by Aiden Oldfield taking that first shot. Made it hard for them to handle. Pressure from the Lincoln offense created more opportunities. Those are the opportunities they've got to keep on making if they're going to win this game. That one's out now for a Lincoln throw. Peterson LaRose tries his luck. That one gets launched far over. Almost had a great through ball for Aiden Oldfield, but the defense snuffed it out. And Lincoln will earn themselves another free kick. Utrecht still trying to make another opportunity for themselves. They've done a much better job connecting their passes so far than the rail splitters. But rail splitters every now and then get these moments, especially right here when Aiden Oldfield gets on the ball. He's got the speed, he's got the skill. He's just looking for a little extra help the right give and go
Could be all this game needs. Push from behind there from number seven, Yaroslav Frolov, gonna give Lincoln a free kick. And a shot saved by Carl Handy Abraham. Launched forward by the defense. Yet again, the defense able to clear it up to the front line, but no controlled foot from the rail splitters in connection. Aiden Oldfield off to the races. Peterson LaRose now passes forward just a little too heavy for Aiden Oldfield. The rail splitters finally trying to put together those connections that they need to make in order. Referee trying to rush this forward. The goalkeeper trying to slowly walk to collect the ball. Referee saying take the other one. Kick taken. Halftime whistle should blow any second now. Free kick to New Utrecht. Pierre manages to push it forward. Rail splitters still looking to connect their passes up top. And there's the halftime whistle. So as we go to the half, rail splitters trail 1 0. 
They've shown signs of brilliance. They just have to get the connecting passes. New Utrecht hold the lead. We'll be right back with you after this.
just about back underway here from Lincoln High School. And here we go, second half. New Utrecht leads one nothing. But it has been far from a New Utrecht domination here. Lincoln getting plenty of touches. They've just got to connect the right ones. Opportunity here for New Utrecht. Shot comes. And it's high. Matteo Lochi hoping for a little magic there. No such luck. Splitter's about to throw, but the referee wants to push the camera person back out of the way. And a high kick. And I guess it resulted in a handball as rail splitters were very quick to point out. The spot is just outside the 18 yard box. If this were professional level, the refs would be coming out with their little white evaporating foam and marching off the 10 yards. As it stands, we're on a football field and those 10 yards are pretty easy to figure out. And it just misses. I think it bounced off the wheel of the goalpost. Not sure ex exactly what the holdup is here. One of the referees is first was explaining something to the Lincoln players, then came back, now is explaining it to the coach. And we are underway again. And it'll be called a throw-in. Nice job by New Utrecht's number 11, Matteo Lochi, chasing that down, tracking it to get a throw.
Another opportunity here coming for the rail splitters. As they connect some passes through the middle and then they're dispossessed. New Utrecht now charging through. Lincoln's defense up to the task. Nice ball down the left side line for New Utrecht. Still New Utrecht possession. Rail splitters just cannot take this ball back from them, but every player who gets it is swarmed and can't press forward. And finally, a rail splitter's leg gets in there and pushes it out. Peterson LaRose pushes forward. Trying to get at Lincoln's number six, Abul, Abdul Basit. Basit is in the left forward position for the rail splitters. Nice stop there by Woody Pierre. Not able to control it. Goal kick for the rail splitters.
with a free kick coming for the rail splitters here. Shot coming, saved. He was swinging towards that outside post. Oh. Calls for a handball from the Lincoln offense, but no calls just yet from the referees. Looks like the referees are going to have a little conversation. Talk about what they saw. If there was a handball, it would be a penalty kick for Lincoln. I think it was in the box. Nope. After all that, they just kind of go with a drop ball and give it back to the keeper. Shot from distance, no good. Peterson LaRose on the shot. He did have an opportunity. Abdul Basit was on the left side. If he had made the through pass, could have been a great opportunity for him. But we've mentioned Lincoln has struggled to connect those final passes. Frustration from Peterson LaRose as he's taken it from 30 yards out. Goal kick now for New Utrecht. Shot from distance there for New Utrecht goes out wide. It's a goal kick to Lincoln. Throw in now for Lincoln from deep in the corner. Shot coming from Lincoln. No, they can't get the foot on it. New Utrecht going to try to clear it out. Still Lincoln in dangerous position. And it's a Lincoln throw. Would
Cody Pierre taking the throw. Gets it to LaRose. LaRose trying to turn it in, can't get forward. Centers, shot coming, deflected. Now it's coming back the other way. Offsides called. Player in the offsides position, I believe, is number 23, Jose Alberto Cedeno Martinez. Rail splitters try to push forward again. Ball kicked over to the center and cleared out by the new Utrecht defense. It'll be a Lincoln throw. And that kick will ultimately go over. Goal kick back to New Utrecht. Utrecht breaking away. Going for a great through pass, and that's in. The assist from number 23, the goal from number 7. 23, Jose Alberto Sedeno Martinez. Number 7, Yaroslav Frolov. They break through and score the second goal for New Utrecht. Great pass connection by the U by the new Utrecht offense. Defense just couldn't read it out. Woody Pierre had been playing up a little too far into the midfield trying to help out the offense. Nobody came back to support his position. Chance for Lincoln, goal. Number 16 for the rail splitters. And that is Tom Latou Say. Rail splitters finally crack through, get the first goal that they were looking for. Unfortunately, it comes just after New Utrecht had gone up two. So rail splitters still trailing. As we reach halfway through the second half.
Lee Utrecht back in possession, pushing forward, broken up by the Lincoln defense. Another attempted through ball, cleared upwards. Peterson LaRose gets a touch, can't get one cleanly. Ball kicked in and headed out by the Lincoln defense. Dangerous play. Michael Maldonado had nothing but faith in Woody Pierre as he played it back to him with a new Utrecht player right next to him. And a throw in coming now for the rail splitters. New Utrecht now back in possession, pushing forward. Referee says play on. Unfortunate bounce up for the new Utrecht player there. That is Ronan Israelov. Bounces into his hand. And they take it as a throw in. Nice ball forward for new Utrecht. Read out by the Lincoln defense. Peterson LaRose now with an opportunity. Tries to push it forward. Michael Maldonado trying to make something happen. Can't do it. Utrecht trying to make something happen again. Not dispossessed yet. They're still on the ball. They have numbers forward. Snuffed out by Luis Rosas on the back line. Substitutions coming in for both squads now. We'll see the return of Lincoln's number four and number 10. Four, of course, being Aiden Oldfield. 10 being Basia Silla Guy. Player down for the rail splitters. 
after the collision, slow to get up. Player down was Lincoln's number seven, Aminzan Uzbekov. Peterson LaRoe is off to the races. He stops it in the corner, crosses to the middle. Cross is picked off. New Utrecht now coming back the other way. Finally dispossessed. There's Rosas again on Lincoln's back line. And there's a bad pass back. Almost disastrous for the rail splitters. Good playing by Shurin Dormashev on the back line to save that one. Luis Rosas didn't realize just how close the player was from New Utrecht. Charging in. Nice interception there by the rail splitters. Pass forward, picked off. Rail splitters back in possession. Seventieth minute of play here in Coney Island. Rail splitters trail by one. As they have most of the game. They trailed by two for just a minute or so before they answered back. And that one's going to bounce over into the stands. Goes across. And coming back now. Last man for Lincoln. Dermashev manages to clear that one out. Still a new Utrecht possession. Lincoln never seems to get on the end of those clear balls. Peterson LaRose tries to push it wide. It's too far. New Utrecht in possession. Woody Pierre blocks it. Can't get it to anyone. It's going to roll out for a Lincoln throw.
Lincoln throw. Clear ball from New Utrecht. Rosas passes out to Pierre. Pierre looking for an option. Still looking for one as he holds it off himself. Can't push it forward just yet, goes back to Rosas. Rosas tries to clear, it doesn't go the direction he wanted. Too much up, not enough over. Opportunity, shot in the outside netting. Goal kick to the rail splitters. Splitters just can't get it clear. New Utrecht just can't pull a shot off. Stuck in a back and forth limbo in Lincoln's defensive third. Shot comes. And it's wide. Goal kick for the rail splitters. Opportunity now for the rail splitters. They just can't get the possession down in that end of the field. It'll be a Lincoln throw. Lincoln's still trying to clear it off their back line. It's still not cleared. New Utrecht in possession. They're knocking at the door looking for number three. Another cleared ball goes right back to the foot of New Utrecht. They have absolutely dominated now in the midfield. Lincoln never on the receiving end of any of their defenders' kicks.
Free kick to the rail splitters. Peterson LaRose in position to take it. He could score from here, but it's a low percentage shot and their keeper has not been bad today. No reason to think that he'll start now. But he'll try anyway. And it's safely into the hands of the keeper. Anderson LaRose works his way down the sideline. He's got three defenders with him. And he still has possession. And he'll eventually draw a foul. Free kick now from about 30 yards out. The kick comes, hits the wall. Coming back the other way. Opportunity here, save, but only the first one. New Utrecht finally gets goal number three. Coming off the foot of number eight. That is Edwin Santos. He made one kick. Carl Handy Abraham was able to save the first shot and batted it down but he couldn't get it away from Santos, who then rebounded and gives the two-goal lead back to New Utrecht. Rail splitters now in the final minutes. Looks like this game is going to go the same way as their first meeting with New Utrecht. All that for a new Utrecht throw. Absolutely no rush for them. As we are already in stoppage time here in Coney Island. They gave about two minutes of stoppage in the first half. We'll see if they do the same here. As this one tracks out for a goal kick. out again, Lincoln throw.
to Lincoln for corner. Old Field to take it. In Swinger. Headed away. Falls to the feet of New Utrecht. And that'll go out for a throw. Dermashaw to take it. Throws to LaRose. LaRose can't get through the defense. LaRose again tries to get a turn on it. Kicks towards the far post. Goalkeeper saves and falls. Now he'll just lay there for a few seconds, letting the clock tick away. And there is your final whistle here from Abraham Lincoln High School. The final score, New Utrecht three, rail splitters one. New Utrecht takes the win. Thanks everybody for watching, taking the time. We appreciate your support. Thanks for liking and subscribing here at Abraham Lincoln High School. We will see you next time.